Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Although I love sitting at the dinner table, enjoying a meal, and good conversation with my family or friends, every so often we do love to have a more casual dinner, especially on those nights when we want to watch a movie or a special sporting event like the Super Bowl. Recently, one of my sons requested that we have a chicken wings night while we watch the Super Bowl, so I thought I'd make this video and show you how easy it is to make my crispy oven roasted buffalo wings that are keto, gluten free, and sugar free. And they're just like the wings you would get in a pub. Now let's get started. The macronutrient ratio for the crispy buffalo chicken wings is 2 to 1 with 1.2 grams of total carbs, 0.3 grams of fiber resulting in 0.9 grams of net carb per serving of these wings. I don't know how it is in your area, but here where I live, it is almost double the cost to have the butcher cut up your wings, so that's why I do it myself. I like my wings pub style, therefore I will refer you to my crispy, sweet, and spicy hot barbecue chicken wings video, because in that video I will show you a step-by-step -step, a method to cut the whole chicken wing into drumettes, flats, and tips. By the way, it's really easy, and it only takes a few minutes, and will probably save you a fair bit of money if you do it yourself rather than having your butcher do it for you. The link for this crispy, sweet, and spicy hot barbecue chicken wings video, as well as any other video I mention, and a printable recipe for these buffalo chicken wings will be posted in the description below, so please check that out. And by the way, there's also end links that I always post after I select related videos that you might like if you like these wings. So as you are cutting up the whole wing, set the tips aside. And later, when you're all done, store the tips in a freezer bag, which of course you should label and date, and place this bag with the tips into the freezer. These tips are extremely good when you're making your own homemade chicken soup, which I will also link in the description below. So the first thing you'll need, if you haven't done so already, is to make a full batch of my keto buffalo sauce. As per my recipe, I always store the extra sauce in an airtight mason container in my fridge. It lasts for quite a few days. Or, if you haven't seen my how to make keto buffalo sauce video before, it only takes five minutes. And it's really good and much tastier than store-bought. And if you're preparing for game night, you can use the rest of the keto buffalo sauce to make my keto buffalo cauliflower bites. As an example, after making the keto buffalo sauce, the next step is to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Also take a moment and line a baking sheet with either aluminum foil or parchment. This will catch the drips from the buffalo sauce and will make your cleanup much easier. And then set the baking sheet and wire rack aside for a moment. Now that my drumettes and flats are all cut up, it's also very important to pat dry your flats and drumettes and please make them as dry as possible. Because the drier the skin surface is, it will help all the dry ingredients to adhere better to the chicken skin. Now that my wing parts are all dry, I put them into a large mixing bowl. In a separate small mixing bowl, I combine my salt, baking powder, paprika, and black pepper. Then just stir everything well with a fork until all the ingredients are well combined. Now take about a third of the baking powder mixture and sprinkle it over the wings and then just toss everything in the bowl. Then repeat two more times until the wings are well coated and you have used up all your baking powder mixture. And keep tossing for a little bit longer. You really want to make sure that the wings are coated all the way around. If you're concerned about the use of baking powder and will it be noticeable at the end, no it will not and it's this baking powder that's really important because it's the reaction between the baking powder and the chicken fat that crisps up the skin. So this step is done. Place your wings on the oven rack but leave a bit of space between each of the pieces. You want the heat from the oven to encircle all the way around each of the wing parts. And having arranged everything on your wire rack, it's time to place the wire rack and baking sheet into the middle position of your preheated oven and set your timer for 20 minutes. And now that the wings are in the oven for this first bake, let's make the buffalo glaze, which is very simple. Just put butter into a saucepan and melt it over low heat. And then add the buffalo sauce, stir well, and when everything's stirred well, and just set it aside until needed. Okay, my timer just went off, so I removed the wire rack from the oven and place my wings into a large mixing bowl. 
Now take your pot of buffalo glaze and stir the sauce and pour the buffalo sauce glaze on top of the wings and toss very well to coat the wings thoroughly. Now place your coated buffalo wings back on the wire rack. If you notice that you have extra buffalo sauce at the bottom of your mixing bowl, just take a pastry or barbecue brush and use up the rest of the buffalo sauce, painting it over the wings. And then put everything back into the middle position of your oven and set the timer for the last 15 to 20 minutes or until you notice the wings are nice and crispy. How long the second bake will require will depend on the thickness of your drumettes and flats. In the last few minutes do check it and then adjust your timing accordingly. When your wings are done, remove them from the oven and let the wings cool on the wire rack before plating and serving. Buffalo wings are traditionally served with celery sticks and sometimes with carrot sticks. And in a pub, the classic buffalo wings are also served with a blue cheese dip. Although I love the keto blue cheese dip, we sometimes like a bit of variety and make my keto Greek tzatziki because the Greek tzatziki also complements the hot and spicy buffalo chicken wings. And here's how I like to present and serve my crispy buffalo wings. I hope that you will try making these very soon and enjoy them. If you like this recipe and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell to all, give this video a thumbs up, and most importantly, I love hearing from you. I love reading your comments, questions, and any suggestions that you have to make. I really value all of my subscribers and everyone who takes the time to watch my videos and helps me grow my community. Until next time, cheers!